Isang magandang magandang buhay po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, kura paroko ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish sa Pasay, doing all for the gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng aking mga kasamahang pari, brothers, mga junior professed members at seminarista ng Society of St. Paul dito po sa Pilipinas at Macau, at gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila at ng TV Maria, kayo po'y aming uh, tinitipan na makiisa, makimisa ngayon pong ikalabing siyam, 19th of January, 2020, ito po ang ikatlong linggo ng Enero at ikalawang linggo dapat ng Ordinary Time ng Simbahan. Pero para po sa atin sa Pilipinas, ito po ang kapistahan ng Santo Nino. Binabati po natin ang ating mga regular na mga kasambuhay, yung pong mga may sakit, lalo-lalo na po yung mga cancer patients na kasama natin sa kanilang uh, pinagdadaanan, no? yung ating mga elderly, mga caregivers po, yung ating mga personel ng kapulisan at uh, kasundaluan na alam po natin napaka-busy. No? Lalo-lalo na po yung mga siyempre naka-assign sa area po na nasalanta ng Taal Volcano. Gayun din po yung ating mga kababayan na mga OFWs, binabati po namin lahat kayo at iniaalay ang ating misa para sa inyong intentions. Gayun din po, ang grupo po mula sa Canada ni Brother Alex Pideris at ang ating mga long time na mga kasambuhay tulad po ng Masigan Family, Chowa Family, Arrojado Family. We would like to pray specially for our sister Nor na alam po natin ay uh, kailangan magpagaling, no? Si George at Noemi Villarus, si Didith at Joey Jacob, Mariel Diaz, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Delio at ni Irma San Miguel, si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan, dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong, si Alma Gonzales, si Catherine Pablos, si Chona, at gayon din po ang ating mga long time na mga love offerers na sina Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Resio, Rachel Esteban at Leilani Paladio Himotea. Adin din pong binabati at ipinapanalangin ang mga kaibigan natin na nakilala natin sa ating Holy Land Pilgrimages. Una na po riyan ang Spell Group noong March 2019, ang uh, Jo- Journeys of Faith Holy Land Group ng 2018 na pinangungunahan po ng uh, mga kaibigan nating pari mula sa Recoletos. Si Father Randy, Father Charlie, Father Joab, si Father uh, Joy. Diyan po sa Taiwan, isa pong Merinol Missionary. Gayun din po ang grupo ni na uh, Doktora Cora Cabral, Geraldine Lee, Si Grace, no? I'd like to specially thank Cora, Doctora Cora and Attorney Grace for coming to the installation dyan po sa Pasay. Si Mary Joyce Brillo, Jimmy Olaso, Attorney Jane San Benaventura, Nino Molina, Willie at Arlina Onglao na may ari po ng Journeys of Faith. Si Marites, no? Sa Journeys of Faith. Si Anton at uh, si Juliet no mag uh, ito po ay uh, uh, mag anti yan no si uh, Mr and Mrs Benji Datok ang grupo po ni Chrissy Highland Rosalie C Rosebel D at William D gayon din po ang magiinang Danny Kathleen at Tal Tantuico si uh, Silvet si Iris at Val Rivero at si uh, Grace Polido Tan, thank you for coming sa installation and uh, si Attorney Nonoy Tan. We would like also to greet yung grupo po ng uh, Recto at mga kaibigan po nila kasama naman po natin sa pilgrimage ng March 2019, ang grupo ng Workers of Christ ng 2019 
na pinangunahan po ni Jen Castillo sa pilgrimage. And of course, latest ang grupo ng uh, Journeys of Faith Pilgrimage Group ng October-November 2019 na pinangungunahan ni Gay, Lady Bird, ni Maricel Salapantan, si Noel, si Mercy, si Trish, no? si Father Divino Santos Rabang, si Nanang Alejandrina, si Maria Teresa Aboitis at si Mara. Thank you for hosting the reunion. Ha? Uh, si uh, Mara at si Maria Teresa no? Aboitis. At gayon din po ang mag-asawang Lita at Mario Aningalan. And um, we would like also to pray para po do sa ating mga nagpadala ng mass intentions is Zima Burnaat for the souls of Constancio Sr., uh, Victoriana Benancio, Elpidio Matilde, Constancio Jr., Candelaria, Francisca, uh, Gloria at Melba. Healing para din sa mga beloved ones nila. Gayun din po si Celia Rosas, uh, mass intentions for the healing of uh, yung kanya pong asawa, si Lawrence, and uh, for the wisdom and protection of Michelle and Lane. Si Russell Contante Cruz, yan. Sabi niya, salamat po as always. Uh, I've been watching some Buhay TV Mass. Malaking tulong po ito. Uh, kasi po, wala akong off. Ah, wala daw siyang off. No? Uh, kaya sa FB na lang siya pwedeng magsimba. No? And uh, she would like, he would like to pray for the safety of uh, the children and the husband. Si Russell, no? Contante Cruz. Si Josephine Berna, uh, Fernandez Benitez, Mass Intentions for the Good Health, Protection, and Financial Needs of the Family and for the Safe Pregnancy ng kanya pong daughter. Si Edna Salmingo, na po niyang mag-offer unang-una ng uh, Special Intentions for Gary, for Egg, for Edward, uh, Uh, for uh, Nemia Lacson, for Alan Holito, Risa, Winnie, Katrina, Steven, uh, si John Michael, Mia, Timmy, Jimmy, Saldi, Kati, Delia, Kathleen, Ryan, Renz, Eduardo Holito II, Ed Etan Holito, Madeleine, Odessa, Glessy, Uh, Marivik, Fe, Ameline, Hana, at gayon din po kanya for the eternal repose naman ni na Angie Marayu, Romel Bagtas, Jose Icasiano Arcillas, Rolinda Javeliana, Edmar Roldan, Lina Flor Hamero, Chito Hongko, si Nanay Nena, si Father Nestor Caber, uh, eternal repose din po ni Father Ambo Insinias, jo Joanna Esguera, Nora Calios, no? at iba pang mga kilala at kamag-anakan na sumakabilang buhay. We'd like also to pray for the healing from asthma of Aaron. Siya po ang anak ni Cristeta Obedosa. And uh, para po kay Pilar's Chicolato, uh, for the eternal repose of Hector, Florentino, Mirna, Raul, Father Nene, Sinoy, Salvacion, Pasensio, and all the souls in Purgatory. Yan. So, yan pong ilan sa ating mga tinanggap na mga mass intentions. Marami pa po yan. Uh, we'd like also to pray for the intentions of... Uh, Dr. Rico Martin and Axel Gerochi and uh, Dr. Azel Jade Tan dyan po sa Gerochi Dental and Implant Center sa Jupiter, Makati. Gaya po ng ating inannounce, ang linggong ito, ikatlong linggo ng Enero, ay pinahintulutan po 
ng Batikano na maging kapistahan ng Senyor Santo Niño. Pit Senyor. Kaya po ang ating mga readings sa misa natin sa linggong ito sa liturhiya ng Pilipinas ay kakaiba sapagkat ang mga pagbasa po ay sadyang pinili upang iugnay sa debosyon ng Santo Niño. Unang-una po maririnig po natin sa first reading Isaiah chapter 9 to 1 to 6. Uh, sabi doon the people who walk in darkness have light shone on them. Alam niyo ito po ay siyempre may kakaibang meaning sa propeta Isaiah pero sa konteksto ng pagdiriwang ng kapistahan na Santo Niño ang first reading po natin ay nagpapaalala sa atin bakit nga ba napaka-espesyal ang dibusyon sa Senyor Santo Niño sapagkat ito po ay kaugnay ng pagdating ng liwanag ng tunay na pananampalatayang Kristiyano sa atin sa Pilipinas no yung mga Pilipino mga ninuno po natin nung araw ay mga pagano animist, kung tawagin nila sa wikang Ingles, sumasamba sa mga espiritu ng uh, kalikasan, animist. Pero sa pamagitan po ng pagdating ng Kristyanismo, ay dumating sa atin ang tunay na liwanag. The people who walk in darkness, light has shown. At alam nyo po, ang isa sa mga debosyon na iniwan dito ng mga pari yung matapos yung unang pagbibinyag kristyano sa Cebu ay itong kapistahan at debosyon ng Senyor Santo Niño. No? And then, sa responsorial psalm, maririnig po natin, The Lord is King, let the many isles be glad. And ito naman po ay connected, paano ba natin pinagdiriwang ang kapistahan ng Senyor Santo Niño? Hindi po ba? Blended yan sa kultura ng selebrasyon. Alam niyo naman ng Pilipino, mahilig mag-celebrate bawat isla may kanya-kanyang selebrasyon. Sinulog sa Cebu, ati-atihan sa Negros, etc. No? And then, sa second reading naman po natin, uh, mahihiwatigan natin sa second reading, Ephesians chapter 1, ang isa sa mga spiritual message ng Senyor Santo Niño. Si Jesus bilang bata, paalala sa atin na ang Diyos Ama ay Ama. Yan, hindi lang lumikha kung hindi siya ay Ama. At therefore, we are called to hope in the Father. So, yan po yung isang malaking message ng debosyon ng Senyor Santo Niño. Ang mga bata ay imahin ng potentials mga pwedeng maganap na magaganda so hope in the Father sa Ebanghelyo of course we are made to see that the devotion to the Santo Niño also calls us to be like Jesus like children nothing carefree humble before God the Father and then receiving other children yung mga poor, yung mga small, yung mga nawawala. So makikita po natin uh, sa pamagitan ng mga pagbasa po natin for today, nililiwanag sa atin ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng tunay na debosyon sa Santo Niño kung ito'y humulma ng pananampalatayang Kristiyano sa una, then gayon din po ngayon. Ito'y dapat maging inspirasyon towards the spirituality of childhood before God. Okay? So narito na po ang ating banal na misa mula po sa oratorio ni Maria, reyna ng mga apostol, ang atin pong sambuhay TV Mass para sa kapistahan ng Senyor Santo Niño. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word, 
and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest, I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Feast of the Santo Nino brings to our attention the mystery of Jesus' childhood. The devotion instills in us the virtues of simplicity, obedience, and trust in God. At the same time, it calls for mature discipleship and loving service to all. Such is the admonition of today's gospel. We are called to become like children, ever humble, careful not to despise, so that we may enter the kingdom of heaven. Brethren, we now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child 
in Nazareth and became subject to Mary and Joseph. Grant that we may learn from his example to embrace your will in all things and holding fast to the dignity of all, serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing, as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. Sing praise to the Lord with a harp, and with a harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the king, the Lord. The Lord is king, let the many isles be glad. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for the adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. Therefore, I too, hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of your love for all the holy ones, do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inherit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat na patuloy na sumusubaybay ng Sambuhay TV Mass mula ho sa iba't ibang dako ng daidig ang ating mga minamahal na OFWs, ang mga may sakit na nanonood sa kanilang tahanan, at syempre ang ating mga netizens. Viva Pit Senor! Isang uh, maligaya at makabuluhang pagdiriwang ng uh, dakilang kapistahan ng Senor Santo Nino. Iba-iba ho ang mukha ng ating pagdiriwang. No? Buong Pilipinas at syempre yung ating mga kapatid na Pilipino mula ho sa iba't ibang dako ng indig-indig. You know? Sila ho ay nagpapasalamat, nagbubuni sa kapistahan natin ngayon. You know? Iba-iba ho yung mukha ng pagdiriwang. Syempre, andyan ho yung uh, Sinulog Festival sa atong mga igsuon sa Cebu, sa Kabisayaan. Pagkatapos ho ng... Uh, ng kapistahan na yan, meron rin ho yung Dinagyang Festival sa Iloilo. At syempre yung Ati-Atihan, eh meron yan. Syempre dito sa Maynila, nakikita ko, nagdiriwang rin. You know? Yung mga uh, parishes in honor of Santo Nino. Yung Santo Nino ho, cute na cute ho yan. You know? Kung mapapansin nyo, cute na cute, pwede ho yan uh, dalhin kahit saan, pwedeng damitan. Yung iba ho, eh, dinadamitan niya ng uh, doktor o anumang propesyon. No? Meron pang ang pari na Santo Nino. No? Pero ho, yung bata na yan ay hindi lamang ho yan pangkaraniwang na bata. No? Yan po mismo ang anak ng Diyos. No? Sabi nga ni Propeta Isaias, siya mismo yung liwanag ng sanlibutan. Ang ating pag-asa, no? ang katuparan ng ating hinahangad sa buhay na kaligtasan. Ang ating Panginoong Yesus, narinig natin sa ating Ibanghelyo, malapit ho yung kanyang kalooban sa mga bata. Bakit? Kasi mismo ho siya e eh, napagdaanan yung pagiging isang bata. Kaya alam niya ho yung uh, joys, the hopes, the fears, and anxieties ng isang bata. Kaya nga, bawat ho isang bat, bawat batang uh, you know, uh, nasasaktan o bawat batang pinapas lang, aba, ang uh, puso ng Diyos ay eh, nagdurugo. No? Kasi mismo si Jesus, alam niya, yung pinagdadaanan ng bawat bata. No? Yan ho yung uh, sikreto kung gusto daw natin makabilang sa kaharian ng Diyos. No? Yan rin po yung ating ikalawang pagbasa. Yung kadakilaan, yung kabanalan, ay eh, yung pagkakaroon ng isang puso ng isang bata. Minsan ho, nakita ko ho doon sa sasakyan, nakalagay doon, every one of us would grow old, but not every one of us would grow up. No? Growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. No? Kaya kung gusto daw nating makabilang sa kaharian ng Diyos, dapat magkaroon tayo ng puso ng isang bata. Ano no ho yung mga katangian ng mga bata? No? Una sa lahat, kung mapapansin ho natin yung mga bata, eh sila ho ay spontaneous at candid. You know? What you see is what is there. You know? Kung sila ay malungkot, sila ay malungkot. Kung masaya, masaya. You know? Hindi katulad nating mga matatanda, eh kung minsan o madalas, kailangan gumamit ng maskara. You know? ba? O tignan nyo nga inyong mga katabi ngayon. You know? Sila maaari ay nakangiti sa inyo, pero iba ho ang takbo ng kanilang isipan. May planong iba yan sa inyo. No? Ang mga bata, what you see is what is there. Ang mga bata, kaya nilang tawanan ang kanilang mga sarili. No? 
I think ang tunay na spiritual life, ang tunay na kabanalan, yes, involves seriousness. But real spiritual life should involve humor, laughter, light-heartedness na makikita ho natin sa mga bata. Ikalawa, yung humility. No? Yung pagiging mababa ang kalooban. Ang ating uh, Panginoong Jesus, bagamat siya ay Diyos, natuto siyang sumunod no? sa kanyang mga magulang no? na si Maria at si Jose. No? Humus. Yan ho yung pinanggagalingan ng salitang humility. No? Humus. Ibig sabihin, ang lahat ay biyaya sa atin ng Diyos. No? Kung wala ang pagmamahal at uh, ang uh, habag malasakit ng Diyos sa atin, tayo lamang ay isang abo o lupa, humus. Kaya sa mga nagmamayabang, eh, maganda ho na paalala sa kanila, mamamatay rin sila. Babalik at babalik sa lupa. Humility. We never uh, grow in life unless we think we are always right. If we think we're always right. Ang isang taong mababa ang kalooban, marunong makinig. Marunong magtanong. Kailangan niya ang kapwa at lalong kailangan niya ang Diyos. Ikatlo, yung mga bata, they also enjoy the little things in life. Bibigyan mo ng candy, aba masaya sila. Tayong mga matatanda, I think nagiging komplikado yung standards ng ating kasiyahan at keligayahan. Mga bata, tinuturuan tayong magpasalamat sa mga maliliit na bagay. Why? Because one day we would look back and realize itong mga maliliit na bagay ng ating buhay, ito yung mga pinaka-importante. Halimbawa, pagising pa lamang sa umaga, Aba, iti-check na natin yung ating pulse, ba? biyaya ng buhay. Instead na magreklamo tayo, pagising pa lamang ng umaga, magpasalamat. Enjoyment and gratitude, pasasalamat sa mga maliliit na bagay. Biyaya ng Diyos. Mga kapatid, sa ating pagpapatuloy ng ating pagdiriwang, eh, talaga namang inaanyayahan tayo ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Matuto tayo sa mga bata. Magkaroon ng puso katulad ng isang bata. Lahat naman ho tayo e eh, tatanda. We would grow old, we would advance in age, pero nananatili ang katotohanan that we remain children of the Father. Tayo ay mga anak ng Diyos. Amen. We now profess our faith. I believe in one God, one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Holy Child reminds us of God's power at work in our humility and weakness. Let us pray with confidence to the Father. 
for we are all his children, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your children, Lord. Listen to the prayer of your children, Lord. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious may always aspire for the gospel values of love, humility, and service, rather than power and influence, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your children, Lord. That our civil and political leaders may become fully convinced that true greatness is attained through service and care, especially of the weak and those who have less in life, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your children, Lord. That the poor and the marginalized in our society may derive strength from the conviction that they have a special place in Jesus' heart, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your children, Lord. That caring adults and committed organizations may attend to the needs of children of broken homes and those who suffer because of irresponsible parents, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your children, Lord. That our devotion to the Santo Nino may help us grow in wisdom and grace before God, keep the spirit of a child, and live with our brothers and sisters in openness, freedom, and friendship, we pray. Listen to the prayer of your children, Lord. Let us now pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Listen to the prayer of your children, Lord. All these prayers and petitions we ask for Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, our Lord. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, Though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation, and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and we, Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God, behold, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer during Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I'm about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right, because our Creator has everything in His hands. 
share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family, and may Mary be our mother too. Let us pray. Loving Father, you have nourished us at the banquet in honor of the child born of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and works of love, so that we may find favor in your sight. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be near to those who call on you, O Lord, and graciously grant your protection to all who place their hope in your mercy, that they may remain faithful in holiness of life and having enough for their needs in this world. They may be made full heirs of your promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dadako ho tayo ngayon sa ating patuloy na katikismo mula po sa Laudato Si, ang encyclical letter ni Pope Francis tungkol po sa pangangalaga sa mundo bilang ating common home. Nasa chapter 4 na po tayo at dito tatalakayin ni Pope Francis yung tinatawag niya na integral ecology. Dapat daw kanya kung papangalagaan natin ang atin pong environment, ang atin pong kalikasan, ang mga uh, ang mga halaman, ang mga hayop, etc. Uh, unang-una is integral environment, integral ecology. We should be able to have the attitude na 
ang ecology, ang kalikasan po ay magkakaugnay. No? So, ang unang-una dyan, dapat ang ecology, sabi po ni Pope Francis, is not only environmental, it must be economical. Ayan, no? So, ibig lang po sabihin, lahat ng usapin tungkol sa pangangalaga ng kalikasan ay dapat tignan natin sa perspektibo ng lahat ng bagay. Comprehensive, kumbaga. No? So, kaya nga ang tawag po ngayon na hindi na ecology. Eh, no? Marami po sa mga tumatalakay sa usapin ng kalikasan, ang tawag po nila dito ay ecosystem. Ayan. Ecosystem. Kung pangangalagaan natin ang mundo bilang atin pong common home, dapat tignan natin ano ang kaugnayan niyan sa dispersal ng carbon dioxide. Ano ang kaugnayan niyan sa pag-aayos natin ng ating mga waste, oh, yung mga basura. Ano ang kaugnayan niyan sa atin pong pag-purify ng tubig at gayon din po sa atin pong pagkontrol ng mga sakit. No? Kasi kung minsan, gusto nating ikontrol ang sakit pero hindi natin alam yung pamamaraan ay pwede pong makadamage sa delicateness no? ng nature. Ayan, ho? So, kailangan total approach at uh, sabi nga po ni Pope Francis dito sa puntong ito ng Uh, environmental economic ecology kung magiging sustainable ang programa po ng kalikasan para sa atin uh, we should take everything into consideration no uh, yung activity ng tao paanong yung activity ng tao lahat ng activity ay uh, mer meron pong koneksyon sa kalikasan and unang-una sabi niya ang dami nating mga laws, marami na tayong mga batas tungkol sa pangangalaga ng kalikasan. What is important, sabi po ni Pope Francis, is how do you properly make effective itong mga batas na ito, kasunduan na ito tungkol sa atin pong pangangalaga sa kalikasan. Uh, it so happens na sa maraming bansa, para bang lip service lang ang nagaganap, maglalabas po ng mga laws, maglalabas ng mga legislation, pero wala naman nagmo-monitor kung talagang may violation itong mga laws na ginawa natin. And uh, sabi po ni Pope Francis, another thing is, uh, what takes place in one area can and have a direct and indirect influence in other areas. Totoo po yan. No? O halimbawa, ito na lang naganap sa atin na taal, taal eruption. O, ang nag-erupt, volcano. Pero tignan nyo, apektado yung lawa, apektado yung mga isda sa lawa, apektado yung mga halaman sa palibot, sa silang, sa tagaytay, no? uh, sa iba pang mga lugar. No? Patay yung mga halaman kung hindi mo lininis, no? Dahil sa aspol, oh, di ba? So, integrated lahat yan. Yung mga tao na misplace, yan, sa agonsilyo, yan, na misplace sila, nasa evacuation center. So, what takes place in one area can have a direct, indirect influence into other areas. Kaya po, ingatan natin na baka naman sa atin pong pag-aayos ng problema ng isang area ng mundo ay iba naman ang epekto neto sa ibang mga area. So, dapat po ang tingin natin ay integral ecology o yung tinatawag nga na ecosystem. Yan, no? So, sa susunod po, itutuloy po natin itong uh, usapan ng Laudato Si at tumungtong na nga tayo dito sa ano ba dapat pananaw kristyano? Ang sabi po ni Pope Francis una, integral. In the meantime, ay nais po nating anyayahan ng bawat isa 
na maging partner in mission natin, unang-una sa pamagitan po ng inyong mga lab offerings na pwede nyong ipadala sa ating mga accounts na nasa atin pong screen. Uh, again, uh, we would like to thank yung pong mga regular na nagpapadala and we would like to share with you our great vision na ayusin po ang kasalukuyang simbahan ng Our Lady of Sorrows para maging broadcast capable sa sambuhay. Kaya po sana tulungan nyo kami sa panaginip niya yan. Uh, ang inyo pong mga love offerings, you can put into any of those bank accounts. Another way to promote ito pong ating apostolado, ipakilala natin. Kaya po, nasa screen natin ang talaan ng mga cable channels at ng mga uh, computer cyberspace addresses na gamit po natin sa apostolado. Ipakilala po natin ito sa ating mga mahal sa buhay. And uh, of course, nasa text nasa ating screen ang text number where you can share your own mass intentions. Okay? So sa ngalan po ng uh, St. Paul Audiovisuals, pinangungunahan ni Father Resti de la Peña, uh, ni uh, Reverend Kib de Matatak, si Cleric Edward Dantes, lahat po sila doing all for the gospel, iniiwan po natin ang panalangin ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you, Jesus my God. Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Amen.